Hello there and welcome back to our Python tutorial. We have not done this in a long while, but we started with string, with integers, with float, and then we went to functions and sets and list. And today we're going to do a teeny tiny project. We're going to create a simple calculator with Python, a simple calculator. At the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create yours. And I would encourage you to take on simple projects that you can do in Python, either creating an alarm clock, a tic-tac-toe game, or a calculator. So at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to add. So when we add 12, subtract, get minus 2, multiply, 35, and divide 0 0.7. So let's get started. Python. <laughs> Welcome back. The first thing that we're going to do is to install a widget. In order for us to create a graphic user interface calculator, we have to install this widget to enable us to create an interactive widget within the Jupyter Notebook. So if you don't already have it installed or you already have it installed, you can check just to be sure and install the widget. See, we already have it installed. And then the next thing is that we have to import the widget. After you install the IP, widget as widget. And then the next thing we have to import our display from Python. So from Python, so this is we have imp imported the widgets that we installed above. So then you have to think of what you want your calculator to do. You want your calculator to have four functions to be able to add, to be able to subtract, to be able to multiply, and to be able to divide. So you know, in the previous video, we talked about functions. If you have not watched that video, you can click the link above and you should be able to watch the video. So these are our four functions. We want to be able to add. So we have two entries, two numbers, A and B, and we want to return A plus B. We want to return A minus B or A multiplied by B. And then we want to divide. You know that if, the, if you want to divide, you cannot divide by zero. So we want there to raise a, a value error that you cannot divide by zero. Otherwise, you return A divided by B. So those are our functions. You can usually run the function to be sure. So if I say add, and then I give 5 and 7, I'm calling the function add. And if I run that, you see we have 12. So that those are our functions. The next thing that you want to do is to create the input widget. That is where you would enter the numbers that you want to add. So now let's create our input widget. We want two input widgets. So this is the first number and then the second number. Next, we'll want to create the buttons. This is the buttons that you would click on the add, the subtract, the multiply, and the divide buttons. So you have to create in step by step. First, we've made the numbers for you to enter, the boxes for you to enter the number. And now we want to create the, the buttons that you would click for your operation. Take note of this. So this is what you use for your add buttons. It is widget that button remember we imported ipy widget as widget so when you want to call it you use widget whatever you import it as is what you would use to create your input or to create your buttons so see widget dot float text because our numbers might be float and then add subtract multiply and divide and we also put our description so far we've had the functions for our add subtract multiply and then we've had the input widget and also the buttons and then we would have to create our results label. That is the label for showing the results. And then we use the same 
widgets that were called that were always calling so widgets this is for a label so results label equals to widget dot label so let's even visualize what we have let's even display this widget all this widget we've created although they would not do anything as of now but we just want to see what it looks like so now if i run this yeah you see this is our widget it said this is our number one and uh, number two and this is the add button subtract button multiply and divide you use widgets dot buttons to create buttons widgets dot labels to create labels and widget dot flow text for the text it's a current thing now it would not do anything because we've not connected the functions to our buttons let's do that now now let's connect the but buttons to our functions we'll use for functions to do this so on when you click the add button button click what do i want it to do i want it to perform the operation and i want it to also take note of if there's an error like if the if it's the wrong thing that is imputed into the text box so i want you to try result equals to add what am i adding the number one and then the number two so num one dot the value the value of what is imputed and num to the value the value of the second and then what do i want as the result so i want my you know we've created our result label and then result label dot value because what is the value of the result label is then equals to uh, what I want it to be like a string, a concatenation of string. So result plus plus string result. Yes. So this is what I want you to do. You get the numbers, your result, then you add, then you add, this add is this function, the value for num1 and num2, and then the result label prints out the result and the string. But what if there is an error? I want it to accept the error. So if there is an error, then I want it to also show the error and then the string, the value of the error. So this is how we do it for the AND. It is similar to what we we'll do for multiply, divide, and subtract. Just take the function here and then our two values and then put them in the results label. So I'm going to add the three other functions now. So this is our three other functions. So on subtract button, on multiply button, on divide button. So when you click this, this is what it should do. So now we have that. So let's assign this to this, our buttons to the click function. So I will do that is, we're gonna have, what is the name of our button? We say, we say add button, subtract button, multiply button, divide button. So let's take the add button dot on click. what happens when we click this we want it to perform this function when we click the button so you put it in the brackets this is what i wanted my hard button that is the button that i created when you click it perform this function and this function calls the and function which i created above and returns a plus b so we have to do the same 
for the rest for subtract, multiply, and divide. So we have the subtract. Same thing when you click on the subtract button, what does it do? It goes to the function on subtract button click, which is this, and then it goes to the subtract function that we already made, which is this, and then it subtract. So we have like eight functions in total. We first create the function that does the arithmetic operation that adds, subtracts, multiply, and divides. And then we create our input widget that when you input your data, you create your buttons, the buttons that you would click. And then you add your description, what shows on the button. And then you create your result label, which will show below when we have a result. And then you then what you want to happen when you click the buttons. So you want your result to add the num1 and num2 from your widget and then does the same for the rest. And when you click the button, it goes to the function, goes to the Apple function, and then you get your results. So when we have all this, this is what we use to display the widget. Yeah, so display, and then let's run this. And there you see, so we have 10 and we have 50, for example. And you click on Ant, so you get your result as 60, subtract minus 40, multiply 500, and divide 0 0.2. So that's basically how you create a simple calculator. There are other methods to do this, but I like this because of the GUI, the graphic user interface. So let me know, will you be trying to recreate this the calculator or what other project, tiny project you would like me to work on. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.